Leo, welcome to your reading for April 2016. This month, we start off with the Six of Spades, which is a great card. This is about you feeling like you're finally moving forward. You feeling like a little bit of momentum, like you're finally getting somewhere, like you're finally able to make some traction and things. Uh, so this is a very uh, nice card. This card can also come up where, like, you know, there are some faded events that we can't control. And I would say these can be, uh, you know, very pot. There, there's really no actually, there's no anything around these events that can happen under uh, a six of spades. It's like they're not positive. They're not negative. They just happen to us. And, uh, you know, we can, I guess, make them go either way. But uh, it's kind of very similar to like Uranus you know, planet of surprises. This is this card can in, bring in some surprises to us and some new things. But mostly, like I say, I like to think of this card as momentum, building momentum and moving forward, no longer like moving backwards, even moving past the past. And, uh, you know, starting off on, you know, some new foot sort of with this card. Next, you have the five of hearts. Any of you that work, um, watch the, you know, Watch the jealousy issues at work. Uh, this can indicate jealousy issues at work. If you don't have a job or you don't work or you own your own business, probably not going to be a big deal. Um, this card can also represent some sort of changes in, in your life, a lot of changes, moving, thinking about moving, getting new jobs, planning those things. Uh, you know, uh, let's see here, going on vacations, planning a trip. Uh, being too indecisive as well. There's a lot of stuff that goes along with this five of hearts. Uh, it, you know, it can be about needing to make a decision as well. Like a lot of you could be paralyzed with uh, making a decision to like move forward in some way or to do something new, which is what you really need to do, especially with that six of spades. So definitely don't be paralyzed by indecision. Just make a decision and stick with it. That's what's really important under the, the five of hearts. Next, you have the king of hearts. So there could be somebody in your life who's actually going to help you with this, who's going to help you um, kind of like move forward here, who's going to help you... Um, who's going to help you make a decision. I feel like a lot of you Leos might need to make a decision this month. And d definitely just looking at these other cards, I would say that's going to be true. And it's probably going to be something scary. This could even be like your child, by the way. I mean, this could be like somebody young in your life. It could be a child. Uh, they would be very mature, of course, but definitely listen to to their advice, especially if you have a water sign in your life um, who comes and offers you advice this month. Definitely, it would be advice well taken, uh, you know, especially with this card. It's almost like, you know, it almost feels like for the people that this applies to, it feels like it's somebody who's younger, but who's also lived through a very similar situation or done something very similar, um, maybe where you're hesitating, and they're going to help you not hesitate by pushing you forward with that card. Next, you have the four spades. Don't create any issues in the home. Don't create any arguments in the home under this card. Definitely like avoid arguments at all costs this month with this card. Just allow things to happen in the home and just try to stay out of them. Uh, don't, you know, don't uh, be reactive and just allow things, like I said, just allow things to happen in the home. This card's also about looking at the structure of things. A lot of you could be examining structure. I would say for the past, it's it's like, I, I think it's in the astrology, number one, because this has come up for several other signs that I think, I think we're really examining like where we're weak in our life, like where we need to add more structure, where we need to strengthen things, where we need to see more strength in our life, in our life, really, and, and where we need to get more, uh, you know, build up more of our energy. And, and it's in different areas for everybody. So it's all about you looking at where you need more strength and, and building that up with this four of spades. And finally, you had the ace of spades come up with the ace of diamonds. They both kind of stuck together, wanted to come out together. So I'm taking them together. I think that if you can let some of these old things go, and that's what the ace of spades is all about, letting old stuff go and trying new things. I think if you can try new things, you'll turn it into the ace of diamonds which is a lot more successful, new beginning, starting off on a new path, seeing a lot more success, and actually being able to move forward, not getting stuck um, kind of like in, in your own w old world. The Ace of Diamonds is all about stepping through a gateway into like a brand new world. Totally different, totally different than anything you've ever experienced before. So definitely let go of some of those fears. Uh, and it, some of it's not even fears. I don't think it's fears. I think it's just maybe, uh, as I say, analysis paralysis, like analyzing a situation where you want to try something new, 
do something different and you're just like th just allowing the wheels to spin just go just go for it and this is what you will have to look for on the other side this month so it looks like a really great month could be very transformative uh thank you for watching and enjoy the month